Roy Roy G's resilient unity into the vague like bound in courage is timely. If you are listening way after this video is uploaded, it is November 27, 2024, where Northern Luzon is picking up the pieces brought on by four, yes, four super typhoons in less than two months. It is also a time when supporters of the vice president are circling around her. In the case of the typhoon victims, we see how resilient unity, as the artist calls it, works. I don't know if we still have literal caring of the Bahe Kubo these days, but it is manifested in donation drives to help those affected by natural calamities. Bayanihan works if we are all facing the same direction, just as the artist depicts it. Facing the same way guarantees we will walk towards the same direction. Imagine if the carriers of the Bahe Kubo are facing in all directions. This is why some unity platforms fall because they are facing each other and grow wary of each other's face. Unlike in other Bayanihan paintings where the participants are happy, here solemnity is in the air. It's almost like a funeral. As mentioned, this video is timely with what is happening between what was formerly known as Team Unity. I doubt Roy Roy G had the unnecessary political drama in mind when he painted this, especially when he made it prior to the latest telenovela. But I think he had the nation in mind, consciously or not. Look at the colors. I see our flag. The positioning of the men and the lighting also remind me of the horizontal triangle in our flag. Against this backdrop, Roy Roy G's work is a reminder for us to be united in bringing our country forward. And it can only be achieved if we are all looking at the same direction, our future. Art that helps us be productive and constructive citizens is essential. Art is essential.